Isterbrack's first visit to Cheltenham brought with it an enormous weight of public expectation and a not inconsiderable amount of money. All the attention would take its toll on his fragile temperament. Before the race he just got a little bit excited, uh, he fretted a little bit. Um, I think there was a false start and that got him more revved up. Um, so Charlie dropped him right in and took his time on him. Mr. Brack is still out the back in Soldat, with uh, Soldat, but also nearer last and first at Prussia, one of the rank outsiders. This is flight number four, it'll be the last next time round, and it's Gladahab who leads to Mighty Moss the inside and Darry Dan, then the Sony, followed by Difficult Times, while on the course is Her Dante and then Boss Doyle. Through on the inside, Marching Marquis, who's travelling well. Then we have Harbour Island, followed by Forest Ivory, who sits midfield in front of the French runner Royal Team. Know, but at this stage, still plum last, is the red-hot favourite uh, Isterbrack, a lot of ground to make up. He's giving uh, the leaders at this stage 20 length start as they swing left-handed and race away down the hill towards flight number five. Isterbrack settled pretty well though as they race down the back and Mighty Moss just about has the lead from Latahar towards the outside. There's little to choose between them and they're just kicking away from the others a little bit now, stepping on the gas down the hill towards the next flight, number five. Mighty Moss and Latahar and a very bad mistake on the inside by Harbour Island there as they head towards the middle one down the back, flight number six and up front it's Mighty Moss the inside of Latahar. Nasoni goes third the outside of Daradan, then her Dante and Forest Ivory is not too far off them either, neither is Boss towards the outside, Harbour Island trying to get up the inside now, and then uh, Royal Tino is making headway, Ister Brack has passed four or five as they jump another down the back, at which Mighty Moss landed in front, but Royal Tino has taken off down the outside, the yellow jacket, pale blue hoop, Adam Condrat has come right on the scene, the Frenchman, as they climb on the far side, it's Mighty Moss joined by Royal Tino, between horses is Nassoni, Daradan is next, and then Latter Harb struggling to hold on to his position, Boss Doyle and Forest Ivory, as they take the next, and Isterbrack is now moving up on the wide outside in about sixth or seventh place. Green and yellow hoops on the heels of the leading bunch has made good headway. Top of the hill, Mighty Moss from Nazoni, then Daradan, Royal Tino, the outside, that's the leading four. So Mighty Moss just has the edge as they begin the descent then towards the third last in this Royal Sun Alliance. It's Mighty Moss and the Sony 1 and 2 with the nose band out wide, the darker blue. That's the gamble of the race, the red and the yellow colours. Uh, behind this comes Royal Tino with a bit of a run is Forest Ivory for the informed Nicholson stable. And then behind that comes the proms and also uh, making good ground still is the red hot favourite Isterbrack, the white cap. It's going to be a classy performance this by Isterbrack if he wins, but it's Daraydan who just takes it up with on the inside of the Mighty Moss, Mighty Moss and Deraydon, one and two. Here comes Mr. Brack full of running, this is two out. Oh, he was bumped there, Mr. Brack, but it's a battler. It's coming through on the inside of Forest Ivory. So they've just got one more flight of hurdles to jump. And it's Mr. Brack coming through to take Mighty Moss and Deraydon. And here on the outside, Forest Ivory, but the cheers are up for the Irish horse. And that's Mr. Brack, but it's going to be a battle on his hands. If he's to win, this is the last. And it's Mr. Brack who lights uh, the field now. And it's Mr. Brack going on to Mighty Moss, the Far side, Daraydon is putting in another renewed challenge, but it's the red hot favourite, Isterbrack, battling up the field, uh, but coming back at him is Mighty Moss and also Daraydon. It's going to be very close, but Isterbrack is going to take it at the line. Isterbrack wins for Ryder, Charlie Swan knows it. Mighty Moss is second, Daraydon third, but it's fourth. Victory in the Royal and Sun Alliance was the realisation of a long held dream for John Durkin. We can only imagine his delight as he listened to the race from his bed at the Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York. Mr. Brack may have had more flamboyant races, but to fully appreciate the enormity of this win, you have to take into account the disrupted preparations and obvious nerves of not just Mr. Brack, but all of those involved. Charlie Swan, with his astounding record as Irish champion jockey, had proved once again that he, more than anybody, could get the very best out of this horse. Many experts believe that, all considered, this is a contender for Isterbrack's finest ever victory. His driving energy and unbreakable courage held on for a determined and convincing finish that belied the uncertainty at the start. He's a horse that obviously gets a little bit uptight and a bit sweaty. Um, he was quite 
sweat and hot in the parade ring that day. Um, we took him down to the start, sort of nice and gently. I took him down nearly first, I think, down to the start. And um, he was fine once he was on his own, but when, the minute the other horses arrived, he got a bit buzzy and a bit uptight. And I can remember when we lined up at the tape, the f it was sort of a false start. And he got very, very buzzy, so I just decided, I was going to ride him handy. Then I just decided that, you know, he was so uptight that I'd, I'd, I'd drop him in a bit and get him switched off. And um, in hindsight, I'm, I'm probably glad I did, but um, I dropped him in. I've, I've always felt that I was travelling nice, and even though I was at the back of the field, I felt they were going plenty quick enough, and they'd come back a little bit. Um, like he's a class horse, so you're always, you know that you have plenty underneath you, and you're able to to be exactly where you want to be on them. And um, if anything in the race, I've probably arrived a little bit soon. I've, pa I've panicked a little bit because I've been so far back and I've gone up between a couple of horses going to the second last and he's got a bad old bump by Forest Ivory. Um, like most horses, I think, would have probably stopped, but he's so gutsy and courageous that he, that he you know, he, he got his momentum going again and he sort of carried him. He jumped, pinged the last and he carried him up the hill. And the celebrations continued as Isterbrack finished the year with a win in the champion novice hurdle at the Punchestown Festival. The following season began with more additions to the trophy cabinet.